for just about as long as Minecraft has been around, videos involving the game have rose to popularity. Back in the day, Minecraft's influx of players skyrocketed after more and more people found the game through YouTube and other platforms. With a growing fanbase, more people wanted in on the craze of creating content about Minecraft online. Because of Minecraft's open-endedness, people's creativity was hardly ever limited. In this video, we'll be taking a trip down memory lane and talking about some videos that quite literally changed and defined Minecraft for players all around the world. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Before we get too far into this video, I'd just like to say that all of the links for the videos that you will soon see can be found in the description down below. Some of these videos have been re-uploaded by other YouTubers because the originals were taken down, while others are still on their main channels. I strongly urge you to check out their content after this video. There's a reason that we're mentioning them here. If you've been around Minecraft for over 6 or 7 years or so, then you'll definitely remember this video. After Minecraft was brought to people's attention for the very first time, players like Redshift went all out and created structures of massive proportions. In this video, RuneScaped showed off Redshift's absolutely enormous recreation of planet Earth in Minecraft version 0.0.21a underscore 01, at a point where Minecraft's diversity of blocks was absolutely nowhere close to what we have access to today, structures like this were mesmerizing. To this day, builds like this still take massive amounts of time, but that isn't to say that it can't be aided with the use of mods and other programs these days. If you were around for the initial start to Minecraft's popularity, this build more than likely had you captivated. This video inspired creativity amongst a plethora of players, allowing them the ability to know that you weren't just stuck to a dirt, wool, or wooden house. Players could reach for the stars and build to their heart's content. Minecraft was, and still is, a tool that you can genuinely use to create large-scale projects and pieces of art. This next video comes from YouTube user Halcoon. After being uploaded on September 27, 2010, and quickly skyrocketing to millions upon millions of views in a day where Minecraft was still very young, Halcoon's recreation of the Star Trek USS Enterprise took fans of both Minecraft and Star Trek by massive surprise. While the Enterprise featured in this video wasn't complete yet, viewers quickly took note of the structure's massive size. The Behemoth's framework was brought into Minecraft in part by using the 3D modeling program known as SketchUp. At the time of creating this build, Minecraft's default height limit was approximately 128 blocks tall in comparison to the 255 that we have today. Haokun's build was specifically 168 blocks tall, 40 blocks taller than the default height limit at the time. This video inspired builders to consider scale. No longer were projects limited to just the best that you could do. Massive one-to-one -one recreations would soon flood the world of Minecraft not too long after this video, leaving many players breathless. This video's impact can still be seen today. Have you ever wanted to take a ride on an endless water slide? Well, this YouTuber has you covered. Uploaded on September 29th, 2010, only two days after the video that we just mentioned before this, YouTube user LOL had the crazy idea to make an absolutely massive project. Taking advantage of the old Minecraft Alpha boat physics, LOL was able to create an extremely original take on everyone's favorite water park attraction. This video, and many like it, inspired players to create fun, interesting, and interactive builds within Minecraft. Because of Minecraft's ability to be used as a platform for such versatile creation, players didn't have to only punch blocks and call it a day. Users like LOL found fun in doing the exact opposite of what the game's intended purpose was. For many, surviving the night just didn't cut it in playing regular Minecraft anymore. After LOL's video, many players followed in his footsteps and tried finding new and exciting ways to make their own fun in Minecraft. On October 9th, 2010, just 10 days after the previous water slide video I mentioned, YouTube user BRT5470, otherwise known as Surcrest, uploaded one of YouTube's most mesmerizing Minecraft videos. Minecart Interstate version 3.0 showed a single perspective of a minecart progressing through a Minecraft world before the nether was even a thing. Approximately a year later, Minecart Interstate version 4.0 was released, which also showed progression through the nether. With a shared 
concept between all videos in the series, Minecart Interstate inspired exploration amongst players. For BRT, version 3.0 took approximately 24 hours over the course of two months to create, edit, and upload. 4.0 took approximately three weeks, considering the limitations of such old builds of the game requiring users to actually place blocks by hand or not having super complicated mods to use, I can't help but feel that we're very lucky to have access to the tools that we have today, such as commands, command blocks, and more mods than you can count to aid us in whatever we're attempting to create. And for the last item on our list, we're not going to mention a video. Well, kind of. We're going to mention an entire genre of videos. Let's Plays on YouTube absolutely pushed Minecraft to a new height, allowing for people to share their experiences of such an open game in so many different perspectives, YouTubers had an indescribable amount of influence on the direction of the game. Early YouTubers like Pulsars Jr., The Yogg's Cast, C Nanners, Etho, Seth Bling, and X, and many more that I couldn't possibly mention in the entirety of this video, absolutely changed the game forever. Michael McChill, the writer and editor for this video, had extremely fond memories of watching YouTubers like Sly Foxhound, The Creatures, amongst many others, and I myself really have fond memories of watching X's adventures in Minecraft just a day after discovering Minecraft for the very first time. YouTube allowed for viewers like you to seek out the serious, experimental, adventurous, or outright silly creators. It's truly a wonderful thing. So what do you think? Do you think that the videos on this list were some good picks? Do you have any memories of watching them? What YouTubers do you think impacted the game most or even impacted you? Let me know in the comments section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself and Michael McChill who co-wrote and edited this video, the channel itself, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching. So before I go ending off this video, I just want to add a very quick cliff note to let you guys know how much I appreciate that you guys have been watching this channel for however long that you have been following this channel. But I especially want to throw a thank you to those of you out there who have been watching the channel for longer than I have been doing this post scripted commentary style of videos. Because for those of you who are unaware, I have been playing Minecraft for over seven years now, and I've been coming up on the seven year mark for my YouTube. YouTube career with Minecraft, so it's safe to say that I am definitely an old face of the Minecraft community, and I think it's amazing that the channel, even seven years later, is doing as well as it's doing now. I know that we had a bit of a lull in the 2014 and 2015 days, but things have certainly come back to fruition, and I am super happy with the way that everything is going. This video specifically was very nostalgic for me to come up with the items that were on this list. Even though Michael McChill did script out the video itself, I came up with the items on this list based on my own experiences from how influential I felt they made the game way back in 2010 and 2011, and very specifically the Let's Players category. I know some of you may have fond memories of the Hunt for the Golden Apple, a series in which I did, but I didn't want to mention my own name in my own video. That felt very self-serving and that didn't feel like the right thing to do, but I personally have memories of myself watching X from X's Adventures in Minecraft and him playing the game the same day or the day after I found Minecraft itself. I remember watching 19 episodes of that thing. I think that might have been as many as that were out or I'm not sure. I think I can't even remember but I remember that everything up to him finding his first crafting bench was out at that point. All of those episodes are the ones that I wound up watching that really got me into Minecraft for the very first time. And something that I want you guys to do is in the comment section down below, what are your first memories of Minecraft? What are the things that were most influential to you playing Minecraft? What videos got you into the game? Whether it be a certain series that you found of someone's or a certain YouTuber and their style, or maybe even a very specific video. I've had people tell me all the time that my Elemental Creepers mod actually got them into Minecraft. That's the number one thing that people have told me, at least as far as I can remember, that got them into Minecraft aside from maybe the Hunt for the Golden Apple series. And I'm sure other YouTubers like Sly Fox, like the Creatures, like uh, C Nanners, like X, have all had people tell them that as well. So again, I want to hear your stories in the comment section down below, and I want to hear just anything that you have to say. 
But yeah, once again, guys, I do want to thank you for your continued support on this YouTube channel, and I'm very grateful that I still get to make videos to this very day. But anyways, guys, that just about does it for me for now. Once again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.